Hi everyone, if you are a WordPress developer, chances are you sometimes need to create a working environment for testing purposes. You could create an online website for testing, but it's more convenient to have a local platform to create as many testing websites as possible. In my previous video last week I showed you how to install DevKinsta, which is the newest way to locally design, develop, and test WordPress projects. The team at Kinsta has created DevKinsta, a set of local development tools for Mac and Windows. It is not necessary to be a Kinsta customer in order to use it. DevKinsta is open to everyone and is absolutely free. DevKinsta simplifies your development process by allowing you to create local sites with a single click. Use it for offline development, plugin creation, and theme development, and test and debug your projects with the built-in email tool and database management. DevKinsta, like I previously stated, is for everyone. If you're a Kinsta user, though, you can quickly push and pull your sites to your MyKinsta dashboard at kinsta.com. In this video today, I am going to show you how to use the DevKinsta tool. For the tool's installation, check the link in the description below and also in the top right corner of this video. My name is Nick, and I am on the team at wpgopro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. I first ran the Docker app. Now I run the DevKinsta app and you get three options for creating a new site in DevKinsta. First, the new WordPress site option, which will create a vanilla WordPress install with Jinx, PHP, and MySQL, along with the latest stable version of WordPress core. Second, the import from Kinsta option, which lets you duplicate a site hosted at Kinsta on your local computer. Third, the custom site option, which lets you create a local site with a specific PHP version, database name, multi-site support, and more. Let's create a website. So click on new WordPress site. For example, type in the site name, demo1, and the admin name. Also, you need to type in the admin's password. Next, click create site. Again, this may take 3 to 4 minutes to create the site. It asks for permission to add the domain to the host's file of your computer, so type your password. The site has been created and you can see it if you click on Open Site. Here you go. By clicking on WP Admin, you can access the WordPress dashboard by typing in the admin's credentials. So, everything is fine. If you're an existing Kinsta customer and want to work on a Kinsta hosted site on your local computer, Dev Kinsta provides a handy import from Kinsta option. To get started, click on Add Site in the upper right corner of DevKinsta and then click Import from Kinsta. Next, you'll need to sign in with your MyKinsta email and password. But in my case, I have already signed in. After signing in, you'll see a list of the site environments that are available for import. Since Kinsta has both live and staging environments, you can choose to import either one. I am selecting to import the live sneakersviews.com. To import a site, click on an environment, specify whether the site is a WordPress multi-site, and click Import Site. Depending on the speed of your internet connection and the size of your site, the import process may take a while, so feel free to do something else while you're waiting. Now, DevKinsta is going to add the domain to the host file on your computer, so type your password. Also, it's going to update the system certificate trust setting, so again type your password. After the import process is finished, you'll be able to work on an exact copy of your Kinsta hosted site on your local computer. Click on Open Site, and you will see the local version of the sneakersviews.com site. Let's also open the live sneakersviews.com. As expected, they are identical. By clicking on Database Manager, you get access to the database. 
The button WP Admin gives you access to the login page. You may log in with the credentials you use on Live. If the username is not accepted, just log in with the admin's email and it will work as you see on screen. In case you need to access the website files on your computer, go to the folder Macintosh, Users, your main folder, DevKinsta, Public. That Sneakers Views, Local is in its corresponding folder. If you make any changes on local and you want to update your live website, then click on Push to Staging and select the staging of your site. Then click on Push to Staging. OK, let's now go back to the dashboard. For advanced users, DevKinsta also includes a custom site option that lets you specify settings like PHP version, database name, WordPress multisite, and more. To get started, click Add Site and select the Custom Site option. On this screen, you can customize a variety of settings, including site name, PHP version, database name, multi-site functionality, and more. When you're finished configuring your settings, click Create Site, and wait a few minutes for the site creation process to finish. Finally, if you like the DevKinsta tool and you want to meet other users to exchange ideas or get support, then join the DevKinsta developers community at community.devkinsta.com. So, everything is fine, and this tutorial is now completed. At this stage, I would like to tell you that Kinsta is a cloud-based host, offering managed WordPress plans with server power and optimization that you won't find anywhere else. So, if you're looking for a faster and more reliable host for your WordPress website, or if you want to launch your new site on managed WordPress hosting, Kinsta comes highly recommended. If you want to become a Kinsta customer, I will leave the link below. It is an affiliate link, so if you purchase it using the link, I may receive a small commission. However, there is no additional charge to you. This helps me continue to create the free content that I publish. If you liked this video and you don't want to miss my weekly videos related to WordPress and business online, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave your comments below. My name is Nick and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have fun with it till next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.